Hello, my name is Idora Caldwell of Caldwell Creative, and these are my five things that I wish I would have known before I became CEO. Let's get into it. Oh, are we recording? Oh, my bad. Hi. <laughs> well, first let me tell you a little bit about Caldwell Creative. We are a one-stop shop for small and medium-sized businesses in the areas of graphic design, website design, marketing, and printing. We are based here in Dallas, Texas, and we are all things small business. My first thing is very, very important, and it's stay in your lane. Did you hear me? Stay in your lane. As a CEO of your company, there are things that you do well and there are other things that you don't do well, okay? So recognize those things off the bat and then hire people who do those things well. For instance, I can take a mean selfie but I am not a professional photographer, okay? So I hire professional photographers to do the job. And I'm always on set as a creative director, of course, to make sure that I'm getting what I need for my client's marketing, but I stay in my lane. I do what I do best and that's creative direct and not actually take the photographs unless it's a selfie. It's collaboration and it's okay to not do everything well and be okay to delegate or hire the people that are good at what they do so that the end product is the best that it can be. All right, so lesson number two. Number two is everyone must pay. Family, friends, co-workers, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody wants the hookup. But at the end of the day, you own a business and businesses make money. So everyone has to pay. I have gotten into more trouble trying to discount my services, give them the hookup, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. But what I have found continuously is that when you devalue your services, they devalue you. Did you hear that? When you devalue your services, they devalue you. And then you turn you you, you find yourself in this catch 22 of constantly trying to justify what you're doing and why it costs this much and that you didn't pay that, blah blah blah. Just cut all that out and everyone must pay. My rates stay at what they need to be because I'm doing the same amount of work for you as I would another client who's not my friend or family and that just needs to be respected. And if they don't want to pay you, then take your money to somebody else. But it's really crappy that if they don't want to pay you, then what are you actually saying about my services? Just something to think about. Remember that your what you do is exceptional and it should cost and everyone must pay. Just is what it is. Oh, you back? Well, point three. Uh, don't be poor. Now, you're like, what? I'm not poor. I'm, I'm on business. I'm in business to make money. Mm -mm. That's not what poor means. Poor means passing over opportunities repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Marinate on that. So what that means is you never know when the next opportunity is around the corner. You never know when you're going to meet a great collaborator, a great prospect, a great partner. You just never know where that's going to come from. And you always have to be on alert. You always have to be ready for the next opportunity. Even if you don't think that you're ready for the growth, you just got to be ready. Because when opportunities present themselves, they very often do not come back around again. So don't be poor. Be ready. 
and I know everybody knows that saying, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That is a truer saying if I've ever known one. There have been times where I've met people or come across opportunities and I really wasn't exactly ready to expand into that area or you know, God, can I take on that growth? Is that a genre that I could take on? And at the end of the day, the answer just should be yes. Because if the opportunity is presented itself, that is the universe telling you that, hey, it's time for you to take the next step. It's time for you to grow. It's time for you to expand. And you just got to be ready. Are you ready for number four? Number four. <laughs> Number four is staying organized. Now on this one, I'm kind of going behind the veil a little bit because I really want you guys to understand how key staying organized is to running any business, okay? So on any given day, as you can see, I have boom boards, paper, notepads, and even in my phone, I have memo pads everywhere. <laughs> Why? Because once again, staying organized is key. As soon as I come into the office, uh, I have my, but every day I have a list of to-do tasks that need to get accomplished before the day is done, all right? And then I have my calendar where I highlight, you know, major events that are coming up. So I'd be like, woo, you know, sometimes dates come up on you really fast and your calendar and outlook just doesn't scream at you like, so anyway, and then over here, I have my massive boom board with all of my projects and all of my running deadlines that once again get moved over congruently. Now, don't get this twisted. I have actual software that I use on the computer where it digitizes everything and also sends me electronic alerts, but I am a creative. I have to see it. And at the end of the day, one of my favorite sayings is bees are busy. People are productive. So this helps me stay productive daily, weekly, and monthly because staying organized is key. Okay. I cannot stress that enough. Key, 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 key. Yes. I need those done right now. What are you saying? Thank you. All right, have a great night. Bye. Oh, oh, we still. Oh, well, oh, my bad. Just handling a little business. Uh, work never stops. When you're your own business owner, yeah, the nine to five is. What is that? Anyway, what number are we on? Um, number one, number two. Um, oh. Listen, number five is my ultimate, ultimate live by as a business owner. Number five, work hard, play harder. Okay, let me say this again for all the business owners in the back. Hello, are you there? Are you back there? Work hard, but play Harder. Yes, yes. Listen, work-life balance is important, okay? Um, when you work for yourself, just like I just demonstrated, there is really no 9 to 5. It's 12 to 8. It's 10 to 7. It's, hell, sometimes noon to, noon to midnight. Whatever you got to do some days to get the job done. However, there is this thing called burnout. As a small business owner, you can run yourself into the ground, you can get tired, you can get depleted, and you have to learn how to stop and put something back into yourself because if you don't put back into you, then what do you have left to give to everybody else? So work hard, but play harder. It has taken me a decade to get this into my thick skull, and after 15 years in business, it is still... The number one thing that I have to, I mean, avidly work at is taking time for myself. The number one thing that I really, truly started doing is um, taking, giving myself a vacation, a staycation, or some sort of reprieve once a quarter. 
you know, even if it's a short weekend or a quick weekend, there have been some times where, hey, just me taking my laptop and going out of town and, you know, having fun with my family or my God twins or whatever it is, just being in a different environment sometimes can rejuvenate your spirit. So I say to you, I stress to you, CEO, business owner, entrepreneur, that it's okay to work hard. It's your own business. You work hard, but you got to play harder because that is the only way that you're going to have work-life balance and the only way that you aren't going to burn out and the only way that at the end of the day, you will absolutely love what you do and love <laughs> gearing up for those vacations. Whew, thank you, Jesus. All right, good people. I hope you enjoyed all of my top five tips because like I said, 15 years of business has taught me a lot of life lessons. I actually could go on and on and on, but I think those are really good top five. If you want to learn more about Caldwell Creative, there is my information down in the comments and come check us out. We'd love to help your small business go to the next level. Or if you're just starting a new business, we love to help you brand. We're here and we hope you enjoyed this video.